When it comes to your clear corner lenses, there are two choices that most people run into when you want to do your lenses. You've got clear and you've got smoked. Um, it comes down to personal preference. Generally, people base it off the color of their car. Um, we're going to be doing a black 3 Series today, so I think we're probably going to go with the smoked ones, but we will uh, we'll take the camera over there, show you both of them so you can see what each one looks like. And really the best way to tell is to put them on the car, so we're going to take a look in just a moment. All right, so we're down here ready to do our corner installation. It's really easy on the E36. We've got our smoked ones, which look pretty mean, and our clears, which are still a nice change, but very different. Uh, so on these, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about how they fit in here. This pin right here helps you guide the clear corner into place, and uh, it's held in by a clip right here. So when you're removing it, all you need is a long flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna put it down through the top, bend that clip out, and pull it out to the front. You'll just barely be able to see the edge of that clip down in there. Push it to the outside of the car. Oh, <laughs> there we go. That was a little faster than expected, but uh, that's the general idea. So now you've got two clips on the Light bulb socket here, pull that out, and let's start with the smoke, because this is like a pretty nice, mean look. It's gonna, I mean, it's gonna radically transform the front of this car. So probably what we'll do is we'll do smoked on one side, and clear on the other, and then look at it from the front, the sides, and see what we like best. Uh, now, a quick note, you need to change your bulbs to an amber bulb. And what we're gonna do, just use our stealth bulbs. The stealth bulbs will replace these clear bulbs. Uh, the clear ones work fine in amber lenses, but to be street legal, your bulbs have to flash amber, so we're gonna put in the stealth bulbs here, which will blend in completely, but still flash amber when they light up. So here we go. Push this into place. And this clips on in two spots. Side of the ball there. Make sure you hear that click before you put it back in. And as you're putting the light back in, remember there's a guide in here. Can you see that around the side? There's a guide here that this notch fits into. And then there's a hole that locks in in the position on the end. Bingo, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty mean on a black car. Yeah, don't mind the paint, we're gonna get around to that, fixing that a little later. But uh, for now, that is a, that's a pretty drastic look. We'll see how it looks when we're done. So now we'll do the other side. I like the clear. Well, let's take a look at the boat. Wow, it's a tough call. All right, so we put the clears and the smoked on, and I gotta say the black with the smoked looks incredible. So we're going with the smoked. Bingo. All right. We're gonna do our smoke side markers now. They're really easy to change on the 36 It's just a single screw here. So. Just give it a gentle tug. And try not to drop your screw like I just did. This thing just twists and comes right off. It's just a twist fit. Now, again, we're going to, instead of clear bulbs, since now we have a clear it's smoke, it's a clear lens, so we need this to flash amber. So we're going to use a set of our stealth bulbs in here, too, that'll look silver and invisible when off, but flash amber with those. Okay, there's already a piece of rubber insulation here, it's kind of a weather stripping piece fits around the entire lens to give it a nice smooth fit. When you're putting this lens in, notice there's a small clip on the back. That clip right there is supposed to pinch onto the metal to keep it in the place. So when you put it in, it's going to start near the front, you're going to slide it back so it pretty much stays there by its own. And then the screw just secures the front part so it has a nice good fit. Let me throw the lights on so you can see how it looks. All right, there we go. So still nice and bright. And now we'll move on to the tail lights. 
But now we're gonna do the tail lights. We've got a clear for one side and a smoke for the other to help you guys decide which you like best. And I think we're gonna go with clear on this car, but it's always good to work. So tail lights are also pretty easy to install. BMW in general is fairly straightforward when it comes to installations, especially the older models. So what you're gonna do is we first pull off this plastic panel that's on the back of the tail light. And that's just done by turning this half a turn counterclockwise and pulling the whole plastic piece off. Next, you're gonna take this wiring harness, squeeze the top and the bottom, wiggle it and pull it outwards, and it'll pop off like so. Now after that, I'm gonna grab our socket wrench here. This is an eight millimeter, and you're gonna have one, two, three, four nuts to take off. Now, when it comes time to actually push the tail light out, since these have been on here quite a while, probably 15 years since the car was original, they're probably stuck. Yeah, they are. They just form a seal here. It's just from being old. The weather stripping kind of sticks to it. So you can kind of try to pull a little bit as you push. Uh, look at that, all this sludge in there from you know, leaves and water and grossness. Uh, so we're going to stop, we're going to clean this up a little bit. When you have a lens out like this, it's the only time you're going to get to clean underneath it. So you might as well get your car all cleaned up while you're in here. These slide into place, and now what you're using to line it up are these four screws. Wow, and already I know that's going to look incredible. So see the bolts come right through? and your original nut, so I'm just gonna hand tighten them just for now, just put one or two on. So that goes on, you can push it from the back as you tighten it, squeeze it in there. Yeah, <laughs> looks great, the smoke. We're gonna do the clear on that side, just to show you, but I think we're gonna stick with the, the smoke. It looks really good, especially with the blacked out round hole. Uh, this is turning into a real nice car here. There we go. Okay, yeah, just let it roll. Okay, so now we're going to throw our clear in and uh, take a little vote for what we want to do, the clear of the smoke. I'm thinking it's going to be the smoke, but let's take a look. Okay, so let's get right down here and see what we think. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I think the smoke is the way to go. Alright, so we just finished up the full smoked lens installation here. So we've got our front corners, which I think looks really nice, especially on the black car. The black smoke looks really good. And uh, around here, we swapped out our amber side markers with smoke side markers as well and put our stealth bulbs in there. And, uh, and then the back, which is kind of my favorite part, uh, again, we did the smoke, and it looks really clean. The white really popped out. We tried this, uh, you know, like we showed you in the video with the clear lenses, and it really was kind of a big contrast. The smoke looks, looks really nice. So I'm going to just turn on the uh, signal lights, too, so you can see how they look when they lit up. Cool, there we go. Now again, these have our stealth bulbs in them. So when they're off, they're totally invisible. They're silver. But when they're on, they're still nice and bright in. And uh, yeah, I think it looks great. So there's, there it is. Smoke lenses on a 1995 325i. And uh, thanks for checking us out.